Hey everybody, so for my final, I will be analyzing the Marvel movie Thor Ragnarok, discussing the economic principles of opportunity costs and marginal utility. The first topic I'll be covering is opportunity costs, which is a concept that underpins the majority of our day-to-day -day lives. It's defined as the loss of the benefit that could have been enjoyed if the best alternative choice was chosen instead. And here's the first clip from the movie. Okay, so where is it? This crown? This is my crown. The source of my power! Oh, that's a crown. I thought it was a big eyebrow. It's a crown. Anyway. So this is the opening scene within this movie. And here we find Thor chained and dangling in the presence of Surtur. Thor's choice to be in the presence of a life-threatening demon poses as an opportunity cost, where time is the variable. Poking fun at this demon in order to obtain his crown as a trophy takes a lot of planning and time locked away in chains such time that Thor could have been handling other more meaningful problems that are constantly occurring in the Marvel Universe timeline. What we're discussing is marginal utility. Utility is the satisfaction or benefit derived from consuming a product. Thus, marginal utility of a good or service is the change in utility from an increase in the consumption of that good or service. Uh, and here's the next clip. <laughs> Man, he's a... He's a fighter. I take 10 million. Tell her she's dreaming. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Transfer the units. And Master, who is purchasing Thor from Valkyrie, who he'll use as a contender in his contest of champions. Up to this point, the Grand Master has an entire arsenal of fighters who fight to the death in this contest. The utility in this instance is the happiness of the Grand Master that he'll gain through entertainment, and the good is Thor, who he purchases as a slave into his gladiator themed contest. Thus, the marginal utility is the great excitement of the Grandmaster as he purchases Thor. Um, the total utility, being marginal utility divided by money, can be obtained if we give marginal utility a value of 100 and divide by the amount of 10 million units, which is the amount the Grandmaster pays for Thor. The outcome proves to be worth the price of obtaining an additional good, and the Grandmaster is satisfied.